everyone i hope you're doing great welcome to this updated video and we'll be looking at what is happening across the atlantic we can see that frontal system which extends into the caribbean so it is moving through and it is going to be bringing its impacts throughout this week which have already begun across some areas so we'll be looking at what to expect the cool down the winds and even the rainfall activity and also the saharan dust out there but i also want to get into the details regarding the latest earthquakes in the Caribbean, especially for Hispaniola. So within the past 12 hours, as of when I'm recording this video, there have been three earthquakes. So there was a magnitude four over in the Dominican Republic and two in Haiti. They're actually very close in proximity to each other. So one was also a magnitude four just offshore Haiti and another was an estimated magnitude 3.7 within that same general area. And all of these earthquakes were shallow and the more shallow the earthquakes are the more likely it is that they have been felt now there are uh, various fault systems running through such as the enrique plant garden fault zone the septentrional fault so it is not uncommon for there to be earthquakes however if there are a lot of earthquakes within a same general area sometimes they are foreshocks to a larger seismic event however that is not always the case and earthquakes they happen without warning so it's not as though it's like the weather where it can be forecast that this will happen or that will happen no they are unpredictable and that is why it is good to ensure that we always have the proper protocol on what to do in the back of our minds because in the caribbean we are most certainly prone to these happening at any time even though the occurrence of very strong earthquakes very large seismic events is not very common but we often have these light to moderate shakings across the region and uh, especially for areas such as jamaica and hispaniola which sit on the boundary of the caribbean and north american plate that makes these areas very vulnerable to experiencing a lot of seismic activity so that is what's been happening guys and in terms of puerto rico there have been quite a few as well for the past 12 hours however they have all been weaker than magnitude 3 so all minor earthquakes these are always happening every now and again but there has not been any major shakings in the caribbean going on to that cold front here we're looking at it in the caribbean we can see all of this activity moving through a lot of cloud coverage with some showers across parts of uh, central america the bay islands of honduras honduras itself even stretching to parts of nicaragua northwestern nicaragua going up to uh, the cayman islands cuba parts of florida and the bahamas and eventually this is going to continue making its way out and it will also be weakening but there could be some additional rainfall activity across some areas and then over in the east we've still got some of that saharan dust which is lingering about here's a look at the forecast for this afternoon 2 p.m we can see that little massive dust expected to move into the region uh blanketing parts of the abc islands and even over into the windward islands and then for some of these areas it has also been quite dry and a whole lot of rainfall lately and uh, also for northern south america there has been quite a bit of dust lingering around however as we head into the middle of the week here we're seeing that a decrease in all this dust across the region is expected although there's a lot more out there in the atlantic but a break in the saharan dust is forecast for later this week let's look at the rainfall forecast for today and here we can see some of these colorful shadings yellows oranges red so overall maybe up to an inch of rainfall at the most today so this front is not going to be unleashing a whole lot of rainfall where we're seeing some of those purple and pink shadings indicating over two three even up to four inches of rain so that's not expected as we head through today but uh areas that may experience some downpours include the bahamas the northern and even central bahamas going towards cuba the Cayman Islands, some spots in Jamaica as well. So the cold front is uh, just offshore Jamaica. It's going to be moving through as we head into later today. So that's when the impacts are going to be felt. And even into parts of Central America as well. Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, the Bay Islands as well. Parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. There could be some shower activity as we head throughout today. Looking over into the east though, ABC Islands, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, parts of the Leeward Islands. Much rainfall is not expected and uh, elsewhere going toward the Windward Islands or maybe some showers moving by here and there. It's a similar story down into the Guyanas, especially for northern Guyana where we're seeing 
some of those green shading so there may be some showers moving through uh, much of venezuela is likely to remain dry today and uh, over in the eastern pacific towards the coast of colombia it remains quite active but uh, for the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, uh, not really colorful right there, so much rainfall activity is not expected. As it relates to the winds, this is the forecast for later this morning. As we can see, some of these darker purple and blue shadings popping up. So for the most part, winds across the region from most islands are likely to be 15, going up to 20, 25 not at the most through today with some higher gusts possible so across the bahamas parts of florida cuba the cayman islands and towards the coast of central america especially uh the eastern section of honduras and nicaragua right there winds are likely to be kicking up also in the east for the abc islands so it's going to be a pretty windy day for some areas for others may not be very windy but as that cold front is going to be passing by there is going to be that change in winds mostly coming from the north and with that there is going to be some cooler air setting into the region as well so this is a forecast position of the front over the next couple of days so this is for tomorrow on the 20th we can see that frontal boundary uh, that symbol with that diagonal line as well as those triangles that is uh, representing the cold front as we head into wednesday they were seeing it passing jamaica and moving through the central caribbean so with the boundary passing on wednesday that is really when that cooler air is going to be felt across parts of the western caribbean and uh, we can see that on the forecast here from gfs so the blue shadings indicates below average temperatures and this is the forecast for wednesday we're seeing those blue shadings for jamaica the cayman islands cuba the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands over into parts of Central America as well, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and even parts of Nicaragua. So that cooler air is expected to set in and loiter through much of the week. So this is as we head toward Friday, we're still seeing those blue shadings around much of the Caribbean, especially the North and Western Caribbean islands. Euro is in agreement with this. Uh, as we head toward Wednesday, there we're seeing all those blue shadings indicating the cooler air within the region so that is what the models are expecting guys that is what is going on right now in terms of that frontal system and again there have been some recent minor uh, earthquakes across the caribbean nothing too crazy but at the same time it is good to always have it in the back of our minds that these events are unpredictable and we just have to know how to act whenever they do happen so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video and i really do hope that you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions do feel free to leave them down in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise